One of the reasons we came up with this multi-purpose ball handling drill is because we found there was never enough time in practice to work on all the different skills that we wanted to work on. So what we did is we came up with a multi-purpose drill that worked on multiple skills. And the reason this saves us time and allows us to work on more skills in a practice is because there's no need to reset. If we were going to work on these different skills with four different drills, working on the backup dribble in one drill, working on crossovers in another drill, working on passing and cutting in another drill, we would have to reset in between each drill, waste a minute or two, and then start the next thing. By having them all in one continuous drill with multiple segments, it just runs continuously, there's no resetting, and I found that we save a lot of time and we're able to develop skills much faster. So here's how it works. Okay, you guys will all be in a line just like you are right now, and we've got three segments. First segment is going on the right hand of the floor. Okay, we're going to get coach positioned over there as a passer. So you're going to make a layup. You're going to come back down through the cones, which I'll show you. That's the second segment. And then the third segment, which we don't always do, but today we're going to do it so everybody can see how it works, is we're going to work on passing, going down. And then you're done, and you're going to come back. So the first segment, we're working on the backup dribble, okay, bounce back dribble. So what we have here is we have chairs lined up on this side, and these are simulating traps. So this is a defender here, this is a defender here. So the last thing I want as a coach is for you to dribble up, get trapped, and pick it up. Okay, we don't want that. Okay, what I want is that I want five point guard caliber players on the floor at all times. So when they get in these situations, they get stopped, have the ball protected back here, you can put your arm up to protect it, and you bounce back, and we create space. Okay? And we're just going to cross over, and we're going to go to the next simulated trap. We get stopped, we bounce back, see how quickly I'm bouncing back, how much space I'm getting from the defense, so now I have room to operate. Cross over, we're going to go to the last one. Coach, you want to come down here in the left wing? And now we're simulating a half court situation, which you probably run into over and over as a player. You get here, you drive to the basket, there's a wall of defenders, nothing open, you get stopped. Instead of picking up, picking up the ball, you bounce back, you can change directions and look for a ball reversal. That's a good thing to do, because they're probably going to collapse on you, pull the defense in, look for a ball reversal. Now you're going to do a basket cut. Set up your cut, try to swim over the top, go into the basket, lay up. Get your own rebound, hustle out here. You probably want to move over there a little bit. And then we're going zigzag. Low change of direction. Keeping the ball low, crossing over, changing direction. Okay. Get to the final cone. Get one dribble. Either dunk or layup. Okay. One dribble, put the ball out. Finish with the layup strong. Then you can wait for your partner over here. Okay. You each have a ball. You're just going to slide down the floor. This side is bounce pass, that side is chest pass. So it's two person passing back and forth. You get all the way to the end, you hustle back and start over. Okay. This is a conditioner, works on your backup dribble, works on your crossover, works on your basket cut, works on your laps, works on your passing. You guys got it? All right, let's go hard. Good. Quick change of direction. One dribble. 
One dribble. You get to that cone, one dribble layup. Okay, I want to show you guys a couple things. We get up to this chairs. Okay, go ahead and dribble up. You get trapped. Whatever the situation is, you need to use your backup dribble. Okay, go ahead, back up. Okay, that's almost like what I saw when you're actually doing the drill. So what's wrong with that? Too slow and what else? Not getting back far enough. So you get here, you stop, you drive off this inside foot. One push, I got all the way back here. Just one push, that was it. Okay, and I'm old. You guys should be getting way back here, fast. Explode out, get in plenty of space. Then you can go to work and take those guys. You could beat the outside foot, okay? Go one on three if you want, if you, if you can. Beat the press. Okay, so you gotta, you gotta learn how to get space when you do that, okay? What I really like about this drill is it, first of all, the first day it takes a little while to set up. You have to show players what to do but it's a multi-purpose ball handling drill. And the reason I like it, because after the first day, and players know how to do it, I could just call out multi-purpose ball handling drill, and they just start going. So we're working on the backup dribble. We're working on, in different situations, we're working on a basket cut. We're working on a layup. We're working on our crossovers, which we could go through the legs. We go behind the back. We go in front. We're working on passing. We're working on all kinds of ball handling aspects, and we're working on conditioning. So you can run this drill for five minutes, maybe six or seven minutes in a practice, and you get five or six skills done in a really short amount of time. So I really like this drill.